Let's get it together here. We got these uh, crooks, bandits, uh, big train robbers. Uh, these these, uh, these talented folks are called Bandits on the Run. Um, welcome to Pop This Presents. Uh, I'm Dan Victor, your host. And, uh, an audience here too. Uh, I'm sure you'll be hearing from them in a little bit uh, with some questions. Perhaps anyone out there get, get some ideas, uh, put some comments in the Facebook feed. Um, so uh, I, I just want to say it's wonderful to have you guys here. Um, would you like to introduce yourselves and tell us what you do in the band? Yes. Um, uh, so my name is uh, Clarissa. A la Madonna, Beyonce, Cher, or Oprah, and um, uh, <laughs> um, uh, I sing in the band. Uh, we all sing uh, equally, and I also play a variety of toys, which you'll see later. Toys? How are we gonna And um, I'm Bonanza Jellyfish, and I am the cellist, cello fish of the band, <laughs> and I sing as well. Um. I'm Roy Dodger, and I'm I'm just here for looks. I'm just kidding. I, I, I also you guys use that face to sell the record. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I I sing and play guitar as well. And we all write songs. Okay. Yeah. Yes. We, yeah. yeah. Nice, nice. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, well, listen, I've had the opportunity to see these guys play live already, and uh, I have to say they're quite wonderful. So um, let's uh, let's get started with the song. You know, uh, you guys all warmed up with a little, uh, you know, uh, talking. Let's let's see, what are you going to play for us? We're going to... Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to play? Um, uh, we're going to play Potted Plant. Potted Plant. Yes. Okay. We figured we would bookend this this little session with an older song and a newer song. So this is one of the first songs we created oh, together. Very so. cool. Very cool. Origins. Origins. Yes. Origins. Origins. Sorry. So I'll, I'll let you guys uh, take the stage and uh, <laughs> get out of the way. That was so much fun. Okay. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, I have to ask you, um, do you ever listen to Swirl at Zippers? A little yeah. bit, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. I, 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 little, little, little vibes kind of <laughs> come, come, yeah. come to the back of my back notes, you know what I mean? Nice. Uh, <laughs> but like the thing that really sticks out to me, I mean, uh, other than your obvious you know, talent with, with your instruments, is like your vocal harmony is really just, it's it's like this vibration that you feel in your chest, you know, when you, you know, you hear music and you feel that, you know, uh, makes you feel. So, uh, you know, you guys uh, have all had a singing background. Is that like like how did you guys each come to find music? Um, interesting question uh, because we all went to um, acting school mm -hmm. um, and uh, we're all actors still and um, uh, and Sydney and Adrian have been um, uh, musicians for a long time um, and then I've come into it more recently. But we kind of. Um, Found, I don't know, I feel like we found, uh, help me. How do we find, how do we do it? It's, uh, it's kind of like. Well, I knew that, like, Re 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 Regina, when we, we went to college together, Regina, so Regina. Hey, Clarissa. Oh, <coughs> oh. Since we introduced ourselves. Oh, oh sorry, bandage. forget the last 10 seconds. So Clarissa <laughs> and I went to um, Mysterious Wild West Wild University West together, yeah. and, um, and she would write these poems, and we would set them to music together, like, for. For fun, so I feel like you come more from like the lyrical, lyrical like yeah. creation of it, and then like I come from a classical background. I started cello when I was seven years old, and I started singing around age eleven, and I did a lot of musical theater growing up. So and I just I like to fuck it. around on the guitar. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so we talked about it from different different angles. Yeah. yeah. Wow, and you, and you uh, now. Who's from New York and who's from elsewhere? Like, I'm, I'm originally from New York. You're an OG. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a New Yorker. Okay. I'd say I'm an upstate New Yorker. Well, New York is yeah. more Boston anyway. I think it's New Yorker. A pile of apples and we're gonna eat them. You know. Uh, and, uh, I'm, gonna make pie. I'm gonna make myself some pie. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's more. I don't like know. Us. Maybe I'm just starting to make comments. I'm start sounding, mixing Russian with Irish. And I don't know. Yeah. That's how you can say. I'm from Boston, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It's true. It's MJ. It's MJ. Well, you know, um, now the, these uh, various new inspectors, you know, the thing that also strikes me is that you guys are super tight, uh, and I believe that's due to the fact that you guys are also buskers. Yes. Um, yeah. You know, and uh, there, there's a certain thing I find about buskers that uh, you guys practice so much, you can't help but be good because you just, you, you nail in a way that uh, I think um, some musicians may take for granted. Uh, how do you guys feel about that whole, whole thing with busking and, and recording and, and performing? Well, we started, we, we chiefly started out as buskers. When we, when we got together, it was actually, I'm, I met Sydney, aka Bonanza Jellyfish, on the, uh, on the train I was playing. I used to play in Pittsburgh where I went to school. Oh, and also, wow. when I came to New York, I started playing in the subway. Um, and that's how I started talking to Sydney. And then we kind of decided to create a project together. And Regina moved in, and we all we all <laughs> we all formed this this thing. But at first, it was it was just a fun thing to do. It was just like wow. we're going out because it's the only place that we could get gigs. I mean, like it was <laughs> because we were that, just starting out. Yeah, yeah. 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 And we didn't we know, know what two songs, yeah we didn't right. know what kind of band we were going to be yet. We, we <laughs> literally learned two songs, and Adrian was like, "We're going to so like, let's go to the subway." And we were like, "No, we're scared." And then we did it. But I don't think we would be the band we are today if we didn't start out as subway performers because it's it's so much about the performance and the community and the connection. And then we started really like writing songs a couple months after we started playing just covers and stuff. And so I think we got an opportunity to hone in on like what covers we responded to and what kind of music we wanted to make together. Yeah. And um, and yeah, we never have problems with projection. Yeah, it's funny. Like sometimes we'll go play some people like, wow, you're really loud. That's right. We should have to gigs. Usually some of the earlier on gigs. Yeah. Um, when we were just kind of getting our gigging feet and occasionally there would be a sound problem and we would just be like, you know what? Or like no sound person showed up and we'd just be like, okay, yeah. well, 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 like, well, 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 no need for mics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, it's fine. <laughs> it's truly fine. We can sing to the back of the room, you know, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and and, and I'll, I'll tell you what that that has to that that comes through, and um, you know, I really love to hear hear something that's not just well rehearsed and you know put together, but you guys feel it uh, when you're playing, and I, I think that's uh, also like um, in feeling the audience. You know, you guys seem to respond well to the audience. Your live gigs, like. You know, there's the street thing, but then you go and play in front of a mic, you know, singing in front of a mic, you know, making that adjustment. Uh, could you talk a little bit about that? I feel like they're, they're super connected because, you, uh, like, when you're, I think it's a muscle that we got when we're busking because you don't know what song you're going to play next, and it's all about feeling who's there, who's watching you, and maybe what they'll enjoy. And so, like, I think our instincts, it's in our DNA as, like, at performers and as uh, our band to always be checking in with whoever we're actually in the room with. But um, that was something to get used to though was was to move from just complete freedom of like we're acoustic, we can move around, we can do anything we want and then moving into a space where we had to sing into the microphone, we had to make sure the cello had the right pickup and like that was that didn't come super naturally to us. I feel like it was something that we really had to work on and I feel like we're in a place where we're fine with it now. But it was an adjustment for sure. I'm yeah. still afraid the mics. Yeah. He's the one who's all like always like back and forth from the mic and we're like, they might like me. Closer. I don't know. We'll Those things are scary. Uh, <laughs> you know it's gonna, you know it's gonna be some person watching who's like takes you seriously, who's like, he is afraid of mics. I'm a microphobe. I'm a microphobe. Microphobe. Microphobic. Yeah. Uh -huh. microphobic. Hashtag microphobic. <laughs> I wanna see how many tags of that that you may have the first. <laughs> so I think you might, should maybe you actually, copy. We just got a I whoa reaction, so. so. Oh, they liked whoa. it. They liked whoa. it. Hashtag <laughs> wow. Hashtag um, <laughs> wow. Responsive yes. to the crowd. It has. It's something that's carried forward as we've added as we've added new elements to our thing. As we've gone uh, more electric. As we've gotten a, a bass guitarist and a drummer for bigger shows. Is that we will change up our style according to what the energy is in the room. Yeah. Sometimes our songs have evolved. Yeah. Genres, like yeah. depending on yeah. the room. Like mm -hmm. this past weekend, we played in this kind of like gritty kind of basement like venue that was super cool and really DIY but we have this one song that's kind of like an old school like 50 sounding song and it turned into like this total punk like, rock song that night. Night. and it was really fun and yeah. we were all like not expecting it but yeah. 
It's kind of a cool adaptation. Yeah. Yeah, it's something that I think a lot of artists have a hard time is reading the room and you know playing to the room. So I think that that that's wonderful. Um, let's uh, just just one quick question. How, how long have you guys been together? Almost four years. Three and a Over. half, I'd four say. Four in March. Yeah, four, yeah, four in March. March. We, celebrate, we celebrate our birthday every year. On the Ides of March. Yeah. On the Ides, nice. Yes. You know, that's we're actually not that long considering, you know, where you guys have gotten to. So it's amazing that you've taken it from something that's just for fun to here. Uh, so where are you here? Like, what are you guys doing promoting? What, what what's, what's your current status? Uh, so we released an album earlier this year. Mm -hmm. That was a big milestone that we've been shooting for for years. It felt like yeah. <laughs> um, a full-length album. Wow. It's eight songs, including two two live tracks. We worked on a, a studio actually really really close to here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Podcast on East 31st Street uh, and had a producer and we had a, it was a big growing experience for all of us. We're really happy to have it out there. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud even. What's it called? It's called The Criminal Record. Do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> Stupid yes. I don't know, man. Like, it could take some of our some of our watchers a few seconds. <laughs> they'll be like, we'll wait, yeah, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. They're gonna wake up and be like, wait, ah. Oh. <laughs> so, okay. so we've well, we've been you know promoting that record and playing a, a bunch of shows locally. We did a little southeast tour in. September, so we went like down through okay. North Carolina, which is where the two of us are from, and we sort of like had some homecoming shows and spread the word a little bit. Wonderful. And we played on the street in a couple places, yeah. and um, this next year we're going to Europe, which we can. You know, talk Thank about. you. Hey, well, uh, let's let's talk a little bit about that too, because that's yeah. something that's coming up. Um, now, you guys were a part of a contest uh, called the Coffee Music Project. I was lucky enough to be uh, one of the um, judges for this uh, this concert. Um, and uh, the finals were at Rockwood Music Hall here in New York. Um, so uh, you guys actually did a wonderful, wonderful performance and uh, blew me away. And uh, I'm so happy that you guys got a huge check that, uh, <laughs> so you know what I mean? It's a fact. So Novelty checks. Like publishers clearinghouse style. And the best part is that it says the winner on there. It's so self so It's like, that's us. <laughs> that's our name. Yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, you know, Bob Dylan's so got the band. We're the winners. <laughs> that's easy, right? Exactly. Oh, man. Man. Well, let, let me uh, ask you about uh, that. Now, how, because I, I just kind of came up on the scene, I was like, yeah, yeah, these guys are good. You know, there was a lot of really great talent, but, you yes. know, I was, yeah. it was it thousands was of awesome. people that, that awesome. applied, and, I mean, the, by the time that we got to the semifinals and the finals, both of which yeah. you, you judged for, Yeah, like there 40 were 40 bands that were awesome, bands. and they narrowed it down to 11 bands that were awesome, and yeah. we, we had the best time. We yeah. made a lot of good friends, too. Yeah. Hi guys, if you're out there. <laughs> all, the, uh, all the friends from Coffee Music Project oh, man. and Project Waterfall and uh, that, that's a really wonderful thing too because they do it for a shower and yeah. uh, for clean water, um, you know, for, for every place in the planet uh, that does not have it, which is pretty amazing that it isn't available, so yeah. try to make it work. And such a cool blend yeah. of philanthropy and music because mm -hmm. like, I, I don't know, I think it's really cool that we can kind of form this symbiotic relationship with a charity where we're bringing awareness mm -hmm. and they're also opening doors for us to go for and, like new you know yeah artists they're uh, the so the one of the prizes of the of the contest was to uh, get flown to London in April play at the coffee music festival there and record the song that we wrote for for the contest mm -hmm. so we're, we're all super excited about that we're actually gonna we have plans to take advantage of that ticket to Europe and uh, to go to some other places. <laughs> yeah. If you know how to get a, like a, a, an unlimited train pass in Europe, please. If you have any know. advice for traveling, yeah. <laughs> if you <laughs> live in Europe, you have to go to Galway. To where? Galway, German Oh. Your sound would be incredible there. Oh. Just have to throw that out there. Okay. So I would love to. Thanks. Oh yeah, we have a uh, we have T-shirts. You do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we're a real cool. band now. T-shirts? Yes. T-shirts <laughs> mean you're legit, right? Yeah. yeah. That no, what? Oh, no, I was going to say, yeah, we have T-shirts and we have bandanas, too, that have our stamp on them. So you can oh, know that's actually really cool. Yeah, yeah. that's my yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, we also have the Criminal Record, which we release. You can find it, stream it. We like Spotify because 
because they're like our bros. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> no, but you can stream it anywhere. Yeah. Can um, you can you purchase it on iTunes? You can, you can purchase, purchase it on iTunes. You can order it from our Bandcamp in a, a real live thing. You can hold like a CD. A CD. Um, oh. If you have so a CD that? player, <laughs> but it's really cool album art. So like, if you just want to have it, just to like. Put it on your wall. <laughs> yeah. Not listen to it. If you want to be a super duper fan, it as one might say. Oh, is that your fan? Are those your fans? <laughs> Which <laughs> yeah, we've kind of, been throwing it around. Actually, now that I say it out loud, I'm like, no. If you want to be a super you duper fan, <laughs> you can actually find um, a limited release EP that we made years ago on our band camp. We, we made it in a friend's kitchen, and it's very, very lo-fi. <laughs> But awesome. it's cute. Yeah. yeah I like and then we also always have our merch at our shows. Yeah. Um, so yeah. come meet us and we'll be looking at So next we're playing at Pete's Candy Store on New Year's Eve. Oh New my Year's god. Year's so I mean it's our it's our whole night, it's a whole shebang, so we're hosting and uh, oh. so it's gonna be good. But we'll party with some of our favorite musicians and comedians that we huh. Yeah, it's I gonna be like a variety about show. It. Like, cause I, I was like, you know, I don't know what I'm doing for New Year's. Come, you should come, please come. Yeah. Yeah. Please come. Okay. Seriously, okay. Gonna really yeah. Oh and no, it's not too far. From from where we live in Brooklyn. So. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Pete's, Pete's is amazing. Pete's Even if you best. can't make it on New Year's Eve, go to Pete's because they're yeah. Yeah. great. Yeah. And yeah. if you have plans on New Year's Eve, we are playing a big show at the Knitting Factory in January on the 16th. We're opening for this band called the Ben Miller Band, and they're really good. They're hot. Nice. So yeah, so a couple shows coming up. Yeah. Oh, cool man, Fly Like an Eagle. You're you're opening for that. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no. no. <laughs> Listen, I, I want to thank you guys for coming on really it's a pleasure to have you guys perform and talk more about you know what you guys do um, uh, thank you guys uh, audience at pop dust uh, this has been pop dust presents and this band it's on the run Woo.